Hello and welcome back to Lionel Messi versus Ronaldo, round two. And yeah, I've had a little bit of a mistake in when I was doing the, uh, the holiday and through the simulations. Uh, if you can spot in the year at the top right, it says 2032. We're supposed to be in 2027, so basically the, the save didn't save, uh, save four, <laughs> essentially episode four, 2027. It just carried on going and overwrote the save. So I'm not sure how or what happened there, but it's probably my fault. I was doing it at work. I was probably distracted by something and didn't save something properly or whatnot. I'll probably go and find the file somewhere else completely different in a minute now. And But we're going to just plough through. This will be a bit of a longer episode, I guess, because we're going to look at basically, what, nine years on in their career. So we're going to be looking at them to 30 years old now, I think. So we're going to jump from 21 to 30. Uh, not ideal, but it doesn't really change too much. We're going to look at it at some point. It shouldn't make it too much of a longer episode. Uh, what we'll do quickly, in fact, yeah, we'll have a quick, we'll do, that, we'll do that after. So we'll jump into Lionel Messi first of all. So we'll see how some of the predictions are going with, with what you guys thought in the comments, if you did indeed make any. So here he is. As suggest, <laughs> I suggested and guessed in the, uh, what, the earlier episode, the very first one perhaps, I mean, PSG would probably be a likely destination for one, if not both of them at some point. He has left Atletico Madrid at some point there. Played quite a lot of games for him, so he's there for a few years, it looks like, to go to PSG. And he's now got 49 goals in 93, 49 goals in 93 caps for Argentina, which is absolutely unreal. 425 grand a week. It doesn't even show the under-21 goals, one to 23 anymore, because it's, it's just not relevant. Uh, his physicals are still pretty good. Everything else, obviously, is just as expected. No release fee, so there's no chance of, you know, getting him out of his contract here unless he wants to. So where did we leave it last time? It was 21 years old, so it was like 2023. So that was here, so yeah, he did, he did this. So he filled that up with another belting season for Atletico Madrid. More goals in, what, less games? Less assists overall, with a lot of less assists actually, but nearly as many player the matches and a slightly higher average rating, 28-33 games, 2 assists, 12 player matches. Uh, he then got another, another, the numbers are racking up, they are racking up, 35 games, 28 goals, 10 assists, 14 player matches and an 8.44, the average rating is even going up, it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, he then went another season, 20, is that 26 goals, yeah, 26 goals in 32, 9 assists, 14 player matches at an 8.34, so a slight dip, but then back to normal, 36 games, 20 goals, 17 assists, 17 player matches at an 8.50 average. He then sealed an £111 million move to PSG, which I still don't think will be up there as being the biggest transfer, but we'll, we'll save that for the last time, so we'll see exactly where they will sit. Uh, so he got 22 games in his first season with 16 goals, 5 assists, 3 mana matches and an 8.16. So a bit of a dip season for him really. Uh, considering he's in what is essentially an uh, inverted commas easier league. Uh, he then played 27 games, 24 goals back to normal. Uh, 9 goal, uh, nine assists rather, 7 player matches and an 8.04. Uh, it's just, the numbers are just crazy. 23 games, he's not playing as many games it seems. Maybe some injuries starting to catch up with him a little bit. 17 goals, 8 assists, 1 player in a match with 7.48. So I'm like, what? I mean, we look at those numbers and saying that's not a good season for him. You know, you know it's mad. Uh, then it's another 27 game season, 17 goals, 7 assists, 7 player matches, and 7.80. And he's just come off a season where he scored more goals than games. So 17 appearances, 20 goals, 8, sorry, 9 assists, 4 player matches, and 8.20. Back up into the 8.2s which is, well, he needed to do, really. So we've left in 2023. I imagine he's got a few more trophies under his belt by now. Um, so one Spanish Super Cup, Golden Ball, Football of the Year runner-up, World Player of the Year. Still got under 21 Player of the, player of the Year, Football of the Year. Uh, let's just pick out anything that's amazing, a bit different. Um, I think we might have seen some of these already actually. Ah oh, no, here we go, these are a bit new. So best player in Europe, golden shoe runner up. He then finished third with Argentina in the Copa America, which is not too shabby. I imagine Brazil probably won that. Best young player, Copa America dream team. Uh, he got player of the year, the golden ball. Uh, runners up in the Spanish Cup. Sports player of the year, best player in Europe, golden shoe. 
four goals against Corinne Deportivo with Atletico Madrid, uh, which is an Atletico Madrid record. World Golden Ball Football of the Year, World Player of the Year. I mean, we're losing track of who's winning what in this. It's absolutely ridiculous. We'll have a look at that at the end as well. We'll look at all the competitions, the inter player competitions, if we can find them. Um, World Team of the Year, Player of the Year. Won the Spanish Cup. Not seeing many. Oh, Golden Boot runner up and for the season European Champions Cup. So he still doesn't want a Champions League. I'm not seeing many leagues either. Supporters Player of the Year. Best player in Europe, Golden Shoe. Won the Spanish Super Cup again. Winning that a lot. Not winning the league so much anymore. Football of the Year, third place. World Player of the Year. Uh, player of the Year, World Golden Ball. So finally, 2027, which I think was where we supposed to come back. He won the Spanish First Division again. Uh, highest average rating this season. It's not bad, 8.50. Broke definitely getting Madrid for assists. 20 assists that season, okay. Uh, best player in Europe before he's then bought by PSG. Atletico Madrid's record sale. Spanish transfer record at 111. So maybe that is the top thing. So I thought. I oh, know, it's be Spanish. Bale, I think, was the Spanish. And I think Mbappe went for more in the end. Um, but he got the European Super Cup with PSG, so he's obviously just won the uh, Champions League, but he wasn't there for that. World Football the Year shortlist, did get it, along with the Golden Ball, uh, Team of the Year, Player of the Year. Uh, Champions League runners up the following season, so they got the Super Cup and then ne nearly won it again, back to back, but couldn't quite unfortunately. Third place in the Copa America again, still can't get better than third. Um, he got the Golden Boot in the Copa America, Dream Team, Best Player. Golden Ball, Football of the Year runner-up. This does sound like we're just listing off a list of stuff. It, 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 it is, but the idea was breaking up the way I did was that it would be less to, to, to roll off and reel off. But obviously we've made a boo-boo here and gone two episodes into one. Uh, player of the Year, he's got best player in Europe, sports player of the year, all the usual stuff, football of the year runner up, golden ball runner up, I assume Ronaldo got that, runner up in the world player of the year, player of the year again, midfield of the season, a bit harsh, he's a striker really, Champions League dream team, best player in Europe runner up, third place in football of the year, I'm not too sure who's got second there, because I'm assuming it's Ronaldo first, player of the year runner up, team of the year, player of the year, got the Champions League so they've been in three finals in three years won two of them PSG absolutely phenomenal Golden Boot third place midfield of the season dream team best player in Europe Super Cup runners up this time got the World Club Championship as well interesting okay it's a new one uh, the Golden Ball Football of the Year Player of the Year World Players of the Year so we, what are we getting to 32 we got to get to haven't we which is where we are now okay best player in Europe yeah so he's not doing too badly Old Messi, is he? Let's have a look at Cristiano Ronaldo. So he's still at Man City, 30 years old, £85 million pounds in value. He's got 140, 146, or is it 140? My eyes are 146. I'm, my eyes are getting so tired. Uh, in 143 games. Does still show the under 21s. So maybe Messi just went straight to the national team and stayed there, did he? Uh, 425 grand a week. Yeah, he's, he's still got it. He has still definitely got it. So no. I'm assuming no, yeah, no release fee, anything like that. I don't know, I'm too bored about that. So 2023 is where we left. I mean, he's been, yeah, he's been banging in the numbers, hasn't he? 36 games or 35 games. Again, my eyes can't quite focus. 28 goals, six assists, seven player matches. 33 appearances with 26 goals, five assists, 13. But I mean, these are just crazy numbers. 18, 16, 22, 22, 25. 20 and 24 in the goals. He's got 304 in 429 games, 60 assists, 114 player matches, and an average overall his career of 7.89. I mean, yeah, fantastic little players, aren't they? Just to talk about Harry Redknapp for a little while. So if we go back to 2023, 20, in fact, we'll go to competitions. We don't, he's, they've broken all their goals. He's not going to score more than 11 goals in a game for Portugal, surely. So 2023, won the Premier League. Won the Champions League, which we saw. Then won the Community Shield, which we didn't see. Won the Super Cup. Might have been against Piers. No, it wasn't against Piers. Uh, won the Club World Championship. So not that new. He actually won it before Messi. Won the Champions League. Oh no, runners up in the Champions League again. Runners up in the Community Shield. He actually won it. He didn't win it. 
and then won the, cha the cha Euros again with Portugal. Did he win it in 2020? No, maybe not. International League third place, so that's maybe what I saw. Okay, won the Carabao Cup in 2025, the Premier League, the FA Cup. Uh, got runners up in the Confederations Cup with Portugal before winning the Community Shield, winning the Super Cup, winning the Carabao Cup, winning the Premier League. I mean, they're just winning everything Man City. They're just, he's tearing it up for them. Uh, runners up in the Community Shield, uh, won the Super Cup. Got runners up in the World Club Championship, but that's interesting to see they lost, they, they've lost that too. Uh, won the Carabao Cup, won the Premier League, won the FA Cup, runners up again in the Euro. So I've just seen, no, we've got it again. Runners up in the European, the World Cup Championship again. Don't seem to have much joy in that. Won the Premier League, runners up in the FA Cup, won, won the Community Shield, won the Super Cup, won the FA Cup, won the Champions League again uh, before winning third place in the World Cup. Uh, won the Community Shield finally, Super Cup winners again, finally win the World Cup Championship, win the Premier League again, and then win the FA Cup. <laughs> I mean, absolute craziness. Like he's he's winning so much more. He I mean, I'm sure Messi. He's at PSG. Is he? Because the league isn't loaded. Perhaps it's not showing the leagues that are being won. He's obviously going to be winning more leagues and stuff. And, did it show him? Maybe it didn't. Um, but yeah, that's where we're up to now. And let's have a look and see if Messi and Ronaldo, you know, the originals, are still in the game. So Lionel Messi is ahead of youth development. Doesn't look like he's had any kind of work. Yeah, he's not great as a youth. As a youth. Uh, we're going to look at milestones. Yeah, no, he, he has, hasn't done any, any kind of thing in work. If we go for... Cristiano Ronaldo he just retired he's not even anything anymore so he's not going to feature yeah he's not he's not any kind of staff member so I think we'll wrap that episode up here I don't think there's much else to talk about just yet no we'll have a look at and we'll do like an overview in fact because I've skipped this one episode we'll maybe do if the last episode's a bit long or possibly short because of um, if it's a bit long we'll do another, maybe another little recap episode where we look at everything else around it you know the, the national teams, the, the competitions, the you know the player awards, that sort of stuff. Uh, if it's a bit short because they retire and don't go into any sort of careers, that will be that episode instead, I guess. So if you enjoyed today's episode, please do drop a like below. If you're new to the channel, please drop a sub. I think we're still in the Christmas week period here on this video. Yeah, I think this is Thursday or Friday. I can't remember if this is four or five. I think it's four because I messed up. Yes, yeah, so that'll be the Thursday. Uh, please do, yeah, drop a sub if you're here, new here, drop in comments below again. Anything related to the save, if anything you want me to, I'll say anything you want to take a look at, but I'm going to record these all in one go, so you probably, unless I come back to the save at some point, I'm not going to do that. But maybe we'll chuck it, no, I won't chuck it into another short episode, that's too confusing. Um, ignore that last bit. Um, but until next episode for, yeah, part five, which I think is going to be, it's going to be another five years to the 35, so they should still be playing. Uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.